Hello everybody, Mark aka the Nerdy Punk back again today for a new video. Today's video is going to be a uh, vinyl update, part one actually of a vinyl update. Uh, I have so much vinyl here that I've bought in the last three months that I have to split this up into two parts. Um, but that's just going to have to be how it goes because it would take me probably 30-40 minutes to go through all of these records. And you guys don't want to watch a 30-40 minute video. And um, it's going to be nearly impossible for me to upload that with my terrible Wi-Fi here at home. So we're going to split this up into two parts, and we're going to get into it. There's a lot of really good records, uh, a lot of records that you guys might be thinking, why the hell don't you already own that? Um, but some, some of these records are absolutely classic records that I just finally got around to getting into my collection. So without further ado, let's get into it. First record I picked up, Temple of the Dog. This is a grunge supergroup from the early 90s, including uh, Chris Cornell on lead vocals and pretty much the entire membership of Pearl Jam on the instruments. So I'm not a big Pearl Jam fan, but I'm a big Chris Cornell fan. And uh, this record was fantastic. It was actually dedicated to Chris Cornell's friend who had passed away, I believe, the year before this record came out. Um, there's the track listing on the back. Uh, it's a double LP. This is the 40th anniversary edition. Um, don't know when this came out. It's on Universal Music. This came out in 2016. Not, not the 40... Did I say 40th anniversary? 25th anniversary. <laughs> this music hasn't been out for 40 years. Not quite that old. Um, let me show you the gatefold and then I'll pull out one of the records. There's the gatefold of the record here. They're both on black vinyl. Both on 180 gram black vinyl. So anyway, here's the custom labels. Each side has a different label. Of course, black vinyl, 180 gram. Um, all kinds of amazing songs on here. This is a must-own grunge record if you're into grunge at all. Uh, Hunger Strike is fantastic. Uh, I really like Call Me a Dog. Say Hello to Heaven, which I believe is written about the friend who had passed away. So yeah, great record. Next up, Ghost. And this record is called Meloria. So Ghost is a relatively new kind of metal, pop metal band uh, from Sweden. The, they've really blown up the past couple years, so most of you guys are probably familiar with them. But uh, they make really interesting metal music, and I just recently got into them. Uh, I'm not a huge heavy metal guy, but I do really like it every once in a while when I get in the mood to listen to it. Um, but these guys, they don't... It's not like extreme metal at all. It has the instrumentation of metal, but the vocal delivery is very poppy and very catchy, and I like that a lot. Um, this is the deluxe edition. It comes on two records. The track list is in a really weird font, so it's almost impossible for you guys to read, I'm sure. It also may be hard for you guys to tell, tell but this record has a very shiny, slick feel to it. The sleeve does. No gatefold, but there's two records. They each have these different custom labels. And then second record has that label there. And they are on standard black vinyl. So yeah, really interesting band. I definitely recommend checking them out. It's Ghost. Uh, the songs that I really love on here are uh, Cerise, which they were nominated for a Grammy for. Um, what other songs are on here? From the Pinnacle to the Pit is a good one. Square Hammer, 
is fantastic. That's another one of their popular songs. So yeah, they have a lot of lyrics regarding like Satanism and kind of almost, they almost kind of poke fun at the metal uh, Satanism kind of thing. Next record, this is one of my favorite records of the year. This is the Trash Bags, self-titled record. Um, this was produced by Billy Joe Armstrong of Green Day, and if you know how big of a fanboy of Green Day I am, you can understand why I picked this up. Um, Trash Bags are a relatively new punk rock band. They did a tour with The Long Shot, which was Billy Joe Armstrong's side project uh, from Green Day, and um, this is one of the supporting acts for that tour. Uh, this album's really interesting. It's got a really old-school punk rock feel. Um, I almost kind of compare it to kind of the sludgy, Iggy Pop style punk rock, as opposed to the Ramones kind of catchy, melodic punk rock. To me, there's kind of two kinds, and, and there's more than two, but obviously, but it's kind of two kinds of early punk rock, and those are the two main ones for me. This, most of this album, probably 80% of this album, is kind of the more Iggy Pop style, sludgy punk rock sound. And uh, I do really like that. Personally, just as a personal preference, I do prefer the more melodic, catchy stuff, and there are a couple songs like that on here. Uh, Johnny White stuff, the second song, is a very catchy song as is Collar Up, which is the fourth song. So I definitely recommend listening to those two. This is from Mud Guts Records. Came out on 2019, obviously. I'll show you the Gatefold, which has lots of cool Polaroid-style pictures. Big picture of the band there. And then, this came with a really interesting, and yeah, it's in here. So, I'll get to the record in a second. It's on colored vinyl. But this came with a plexi disc of a song that's not on the album. I haven't heard this. I'm sure it sounds like shit. But, uh, the record anyway, I'm, the song may be really good. I don't know. But, yeah, it's a plexi disc in the style of a Polaroid picture. Which is really cool. But yeah, I'm I know plexi discs are notoriously bad sounding, so we'll see. But yeah, that was really cool. And then the record itself, which is in another Polaroid style sleeve. They really went with the Polaroid theme for this, which is cool. And then the black label on the red vinyl, which looks sweet. So yeah, I really love that record. Um, it may or may not make its way to my top 10 records of the year, so definitely stay tuned for that. Next one. This is an album that needs no introduction at all from me. This is The Rolling Stones, Exile on Main Street. Absolutely fantastic record. Perfect record. Uh, one of the most iconic records of all time, especially in the rock and roll scene. Don't know why it took me so long to get into this record, but it did for whatever reason. But now I'm absolutely in love with it. There's the inside. This is the 2010 reissue that comes on 180 gram. The packaging is interesting. Because there's no holes on the outside for the records to come out. Instead, the records are housed in the inside of the gatefold. Not sure how I feel about that, but it's interesting. So here's the inner sleeves. It's one of the records. The track list. And they recreated the look of the old record with the custom label there. Black vinyl 180 gram, obviously. And then here's the other one. Track list, inner sleeve. So yeah, amazing songs. Um, Rocks Off, Rip This Joint, Tumbling Dice is probably my favorite, maybe my favorite Rolling Stones song, period. Uh, Sweet Virginia is fantastic. So yeah, really, really great record. Obviously.
And then the last one for this portion of the vinyl update is, I believe, the most recent package from Third Man Records. I didn't do a unboxing for this, but I think this came out around October, I want to say. So hopefully I'm correct on that. Um, I don't know if there's a date on this. But anyway, this is the card that it comes with. Um, this is Jack White with one of his early bands called The Go. Um, this is the 20th anniversary What You Do in Remix Redo. So yeah. Comes with lots of cool stuff. I'll go over it for you in a sec, but that's a little card. Came with a 7-inch single, which features Keep On Trash and Time For Moon. Not sure if these are on the original album or not, but it comes with an inner sleeve, the Third Man Records labels, and I believe this is black, yep, black vinyl for the single. The other records are colored. It comes with a really cool photo book. I'll flip through a couple of these pages for you. It's got a nice write up. There's some cool live photos in here of the band. They're all black and white as well. The title of the book is The Go in Black and White. There's a really nice picture of the single and a young, the, the singer, sorry, and a young Jack White there. Let's see if I can find anything else cool to show you. a nice picture of some of the recording. So yeah, nice little addition, as Third Man Records always does in their vault packages. The first full-length record in this box is the Ferdinand Attic demos. So I believe these were songs recorded at Jack White's, yeah, recorded at Jack White's childhood home in the attic of Jack White's childhood home on Ferdinand Street in southwest Detroit, winter of 1999. So this is the same time as the early days of the White Stripes. And this one is a really cool colored record. So Third Man Records labels in this really cool gray. Don't think I've seen that color combo before. And then just a stunning, clear, yellow purple splatter record beautiful record <clears throat> it's interesting that the demo uh, record actually got better better looking colored record than the actual record itself so this is the actual record that the go put out in I believe 99 um, yep 1999 this was originally on sub pop records uh, re-released obviously on third man this is, I have listened to this record itself, this is a remixed version I believe, but this is a fantastic record. Really, really enjoyed it. Lots of early garage rock kind of sounds. Um, similar, but definitely not the same as what he was doing with the White Stripes. Definitely a different feel to this project, but uh, very, very catchy garage rock stuff. Uh, Meet Me at the Movies is uh, the first song on the record that was absolutely fantastic I remember um, Susie don't leave I loved that song uh, tired of the night that's a fantastic song as well on side two okay, let me go ahead and pull out the record to show you and it has the third man records labels and it's on an orange vinyl Still looks nice, but not nearly as nice as that demo record. Alright, so that's going to be it for part one of this vinyl update. Definitely stay tuned for part two. 
of the vinyl update to see all kinds of other cool goodies that I've picked up in uh, the last three months. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, leave me a like, hit that subscribe button down below to stay tuned for future content, and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye.